what is going on community what is going on people of earth welcome back to the flash by night channel i am tj aka flash by night and today is what we have left of transformers tuesday i'm running a little late but we are still going to get it in today's issue is going to be issue number 11 and this is kind of a wiki heavy issue we're crossing some of the uh, bridges that we've been building through these last few issues and we are going to answer some of the questions that have been posed over the first what 10 issues of the Transformers comic so go ahead kick back and we are going to do this so issue 11 actually starts off with Buster with wiki um, and we get Buster with Wiki having some inner thoughts, some monologuing about his uh, adventures so far and what he is feeling. So if we jump back to issue number six really quick, uh, we had Shockwave basically ambush both the Autobots and Decepticons at the end of issue number five. And in issue six, we find out that he is recharging the Decepticons. He's killed, or at least thinks he's killed, most of the Autobots except for Optimus Prime. He leaves Optimus Prime alive because he needs Optimus Prime for this creation matrix that Optimus Prime has inside of him, uh, making him one of the few Transformers that can create other Transformers. And Shockwave wants to use Optimus Prime's head to basically create more Decepticons for world domination. But at the end of issue number six, Optimus Prime pulls this trick where after he is discovered by Buster with Wiki, uh, he basically puts probes on between he and Buster and he transfers this creation matrix from himself to Buster with Wiki. I have no idea how that works. I think it should have killed Buster, but that would have made our story really short. Fast forward to today, and Buster is hiding a few things from his father. He is hiding the fact that uh, he's not enjoying his newfound abilities. Uh, Buster's father was in the hospital, had a heart attack. Uh, he is now out, and he is very proud that his son who beforehand had no inclination, no idea about mechanics, uh, but fast forward and Buster can now fix things at this very rapid pace. And he, being a spark plug, wants Buster to be part of the family business. Buster wants no part of it, but he knows he'll disappoint his father if he does if he does, tell him he doesn't really want to be a part of it. Also, Buster doesn't want to tell his father that it's the creation matrix that allows him to basically fix all things mechanical with just a thought. Uh, he doesn't want to tell his father that because he doesn't want to tell his father that he broke his promise that he made to his father that after the last encounter, he would have no more dealings with any Transformers, Autobot or Decepticon, because it's just too dangerous. Uh, so Buster has all of these things inside of him, all of these emotions, and he knows that he can basically hit his dad with the triple whammy if he tells him any kind of truth. Speaking of disappointment and speaking of the triple whammy, Optimus Prime no longer has the creation matrix as we see it, and uh, Shockwave, is none too pleased. Uh, Shockwave already created the Constructicons with the use of the Creation Matrix before uh, Optimus was able to get rid of it. But now Shockwave is trying to bring life to his next Decepticon, Jetfire. And he gets zero cooperation, zero juice from Optimus Prime. He doesn't understand he wants to get rid of Prime, but he needs to understand why Prime can't or won't create any more life in these new Decepticons that Shockwave wants to produce. 
So in comes Rumble. In a bit of a painful procedure, uh, Shockwave basically goes in the back of Rumble's head to see if he can decipher something that Rumble knows. Because the creation matrix can't just up and disappear. So it has to be somewhere. So he knows that Rumble has been on the arc guarding everything. So he wants to look and see what Rumble may have seen. And he can enhance what Rumble did or didn't see. And in the enhancement of the, the optics in Rumble's head, Shockwave makes out a picture of Buster with Wiki going to see Optimus Prime and basically getting the creation matrix. Uh, Shockwave is pretty smart. It's really logical. You know how Shockwave does. He puts two and two together and he knows that he needs this creation matrix from Buster. In a bit of irony, Laserbeak, uh, the bird tape that usually belongs to Soundwave uh, actually has seen Buster before. So when he sees Buster in the images that Shockwave is getting from Rumble, uh, he knows where to find Buster. But because the Autobots have been recording this whole time in Shockwave's lab, the Autobots know of Shockwave's plans too. And so they dispatch Bumblebee and Blue Streak to go and find Buster and find uh, Sparkplug and let them know that they are not safe. Bumblebee ends up going to meet with uh, Sparkplug to tell Sparkplug what he knows about the creation matrix, about uh, Buster, and about the oncoming danger. And of course, we know Sparkplug isn't really uh, on speaking terms with the Transformers. So he kind of blows Bumblebee off. He goes looking for Buster, who is uh, picnicking, basically, with, uh, with his girlfriend. And Blue Streak and Bumblebee kind of tell him. But as they are telling him, uh, Shockwave has basically not given life but given a mission and a purpose to Jetfire. He was able to power up Jetfire and kind of program him to go after a target, which he does. And so you end up in the park having this instant conflict between Blue Streak and Bumblebee and Jetfire. And while Blue Streak and Bumblebee put up a fight, Jetfire, of course, is a plane, and you know, how, you know how combat goes with the low ground and the high ground. High ground usually wins, and Bumblebee, Blue Streak are in a, at a disadvantage, and there is only one way to bring this conflict to an end. Buster finally decides to tell the truth, uh, come out to his father and tell his father everything he's been holding back. Maybe not the, I don't want to be a mechanic part, but he does tell his father that he has been with the Autobots. He does tell his father about the creation matrix and with the power that he has, he himself stops Jetfire, repurposes Jetfire and makes Jetfire a jet they can use themselves to go back and attack Shockwave when the time is right. Meanwhile, uh, Buster and Sparkplug basically make up Sparkplug apologizing for putting pressure on Buster. Buster apologizes for not telling the truth. It's a nice family, heartwarming, wit wiki day, wit wiki ending uh, to this little story. And as the issue comes to a close, we see the Autobots have mounted up. They've got a convoy. They are about to converge on Shockwave, but they better hurry up because Shockwave has decided Optimus Prime has outlived his usefulness and it is time for his execution. So that was issue number 11. They answered a lot of questions, tied up a lot of threads. They even brought the family together all happy and uh, we are ready to take the fight to Shockwave and to try and get Optimus Prime back. 
But I will tell you, I've already read or at least glanced at issue number 12 and you may want to come back because Optimus Prime may die or Optimus Prime may kill. And that is issue number 12. So come back and see me. Come back and join me next Tuesday for Transformers Tuesday. But until then, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you saw something you liked. If you did enjoy yourself, go ahead, hit that like button. And if you want to keep up with me, catching up with the Transformers, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Of course, feel free to leave comments. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the uh, new people stopping by. I've, I've seen new faces and new comments um, all over the place the past few weeks. And I really do appreciate it. I want you to know that I noticed and, and I just appreciate it. I don't know what else to say. But as we always do at this time, love yourself, love others, and I will be back in a flash.